As some of you know, recently I've been conducting an experimental online philosophy course, the Intro to Philosophy for Ecological Activism. It's a course that explores the history of Western philosophy through the lens of environmental concerns, and invites the people who participate to connect their ultimate principles, their ultimate constructions of the nature of reality with their immediate actions and behaviors. In other words, connecting their why with their what. Why are we here? How does it all work? What are we doing here on Earth? And what am I going to do about that? Figuring that out and then actually doing it. That's the experiment. We recently completed our second cohort, and already some of the members are starting their personal action projects. These are projects that take ecological action in a way that manifests their philosophical values. I would love to share everyone's project, but here are just a few examples of ones that are already well underway. Colin Cole is creating an app that connects people to natural food resources like CSAs, mutual aid, community gardens, and things of that kind as a reflection of his interest in stoicism and communitarianism. Ariana Kaminsky created a podcast called All Things Good, documenting positive actions in her community and offering wellness wisdom through the lens of pantheistic spiritualism. Amanda Nicole is exploring her interest in animism and panpsychism through a series of poetic interviews with trees and other non-human entities. Cole Creighton is pursuing what he calls the Radical Hypocrisy Purge, a systematic overhaul of his behavior in accordance with his ecological principles to achieve maximum self-consistency as a materialist, communitarian, anarcho-Marxist. He really understood the assignment. As you can see, these projects range from direct material action to artistic, social, and political domains. We've collected all of them in a database to facilitate collaboration and mutual accountability among students and among other possible collaborators. If any of these projects that I've listed interests you or relates to your own existing projects, I can get you in touch with their creators. Which brings me to my most important part. The Eco Philosophy course is coming back. I'm pleased to announce brand new dates starting September 27th and occurring bi-weekly through November 22nd. We've extended the course from four sessions to five, enrollment is growing, and so is the momentum, and so is the urgency of addressing environmental concerns in a way that doesn't just follow the same old patterns personal patterns, psychological patterns, social and political patterns, but something that genuinely reconnects our actions to the root of our values so that you feel what you're doing and are motivated to do it from the core of what your beliefs are. The course is offered through Grokist, a growing network of educational anarchists. This community is coming closer and closer to the center of my own work as it's gathering more and more momentum and more and more synergy. If you are someone who has spiritually devoted your life to learning and or teaching and or other forms of intellectual creativity, this could very well be your home. It's a growing collective of people who don't fit the existing system and simultaneously don't give a fuck about what doesn't matter and do deeply give a fuck about what does. Follow the link in the bio or in the description of this video if you're interested in signing up. There's a suggested tuition, but it's a pay what you can situation. It's important that I attach a monetary value to this, but even more important is that if you feel called to participate, you do so. Follow me, Nathanology, and follow Grokist for more updates and more courses, community actions, and experimental educational opportunities. Have a thoughtful and active day, and as Hannah Arendt says, kind of, don't just do what you think, think what you do.